Will Trinkau struggle linking up with Messi or will it be smooth sailing? Welcome to Crazy Barca Talks. Crazy Talks. Crazy Cool. Barcelona fans across the world who have seen the first uh, practice match or the friendly match with uh, Tarragona ha- cannot stop raving about one player and that is Trincao, Francisco Trincao, the new signing, the 20-year Portuguese who recently joined amid the end their Messi exit saga. Uh, it was like we never noticed him joining <laughs> the club in the, amongst this saga, uh, but he was quite something uh, on that match uh, on the right he was, on the second half he was he was the most exciting player to be uh, along with Ricky Twitch the fans were exceptionally excited seeing him without any doubt because those runs those passes those triples oh my goodness what was that pass which which was unfortunately ruled out offside but oh, that pass was brilliant that uh, it's been some time we have been this excited about uh, a new player who joined uh, Barcelona. But what, how it will be turn out or how it will turn out for the Portuguese at Barcelona this season. One of the biggest problems for Trinca will be where he will be in the pecking order. He is preferred location he was on the right. That's that's that was very clear from the beginning, and from that match. But will he be able to go above Dembele on the right? I mean, on the on the pecking order, we have to see because uh, with what we saw the last match, it won't be a bad idea moving him up above uh, Dembele, especially with his skill set. Uh, but Dembele has one of the biggest benefit he has that pace on the right uh, and he can play as a pure winger so that is another factor so he at this moment maybe in the initial matches he will be below Dembele on the picking order provided Ansu Fati start on the left side if Dembele moves to the left obviously uh, Trinka will come on to the right uh, that is a given uh, but the biggest question on everyone's mind is how he will link with Messi. If you watch that match, it was very clear. It was very exciting seeing him cutting from the inside, from the right, run, making the run, dribbling past players, and then uh, trying to feed the other players. But then the problem is that is more or less what Messi does every match. Uh, that is his uh, uh, end their play area. He will be having a different role in this side, but that usually Messi, even if it's in the middle of the park, he will have a free role. So we have to see how these two links, because there is a high chance his normal Trinkhaus normal operating area will overlap with Messi, and that is. As I said in the last podcast, that, that, is, that is a very bad sign for a uh, player. Uh, he could be smart enough like Neymar who transformed himself into a winger with Messi around. That would be brilliant if uh, he can. Uh, he manages to do that. Uh, because in the beginning, if he transforms that, then Messi and uh, he will have a very good understanding. After that, they could easily switch places. Uh, because that understanding is needed for them to switch places and play further and link up further uh, so we have to see but this is a huge problem for him how he links with uh, Lionel Messi on the brighter side Messi should be excited about this player because here is one guy after Iniesta who genuinely can take on players dribble past players uh, drag one or two players out uh, from Messi so he, Messi should be excited about the spaces he can create for him and uh, if they can actually link up this could be quite an exciting link up but as said we have to see how it develops Uh, let's wait with hope that it develops into something beautiful